Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm going to be doing uh, a few modifications to my Martian 2 again. I've been flying this particular frame for a couple years now and for me it's been working out just fine. For the price of the frame and uh, what it gives me and for my flying style and abilities it's just worked out fantastic. Nice and economical. But uh, for the first time in a long time, I bought a uh, bought some new gear. Oh, by the way, it's the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to everybody. I hope you have a safe 4th of July and enjoy some time away and picnics and so forth. But anyway, back to the point here. I have currently some DYS Race Edition 2205-2300 KV motors on this quad actually on both of my quads my 5 inch and this 6 inch and these are 2300 kV motors they're not uh, they're not the best for 6 inch at least in my opinion for what I'm trying to do and they're pretty power hungry motors they kinda hammer my my packs they give good power but uh, you know they they draw quite a few amps with these 6 inch props so what I've decided to do is install these new Emacs. I just bought four of these new Emacs motors. These are the, uh, what are they? The RS2, 2306, and these are the 1600 KV. I'm planning on flying these and converting this into somewhat of a long range quad. Everybody's doing the long range thing. I used to do long range stuff with fixed wing with uh, some, some flying wings that I used to build out of EPP foam and so forth and some foam uh, dur endurance gliders and stuff haven't done any long range for a long time several years but I thought it'd be fantastic on these uh, little quads to do a little bit of long range stuff and that kinda suits my flying style so that's why I put the crossfire on here recently anyway I'm gonna be putting uh, four of these motors on on here replacing these DYS 2300 KVs with these Emacs 1600 KVs and these are pretty uh, pretty sharp little motors so far from what I can tell I've seen a few people doing reviews on them but usually the higher KV motors 23, 24, 2600 KV but I'm going for endurance and uh, long range with uh, low amp draw so that's why I'm going with 1600 KV. I will be using my standard 1300 milliamp 4S packs with these and it'll be uh, interesting to see how they do as far as efficiency at least to me it will be so if you're interested in that kind of thing stay tuned I'll be doing some long range stuff once I get these installed uh, looks like a really sharp motor they're pretty pricey in my opinion I like to stay with the lower budget type stuff and typically don't spend uh, this kind of money on gear. They were 20, $24.99, 25 bucks a piece. So $100 just to put new motors on this thing. <laughs> the motors I currently have on there, these DYS motors, I picked those up on sale for 10 bucks a piece. Brand new. I still have a new, another set of them, four brand new ones in the box. But for 10 bucks a piece, boy, I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't turn it down. They're a pretty good quality motor. They not the top of the line or anything like that, but I'm not too too much on all the top of the line things up until when I purchased these. These are supposed to be some pretty nice motors. So we'll see. I'm going to get them installed. I'm not going to show my installation video, but basically I just need to remove the remove the tape from the top of the uh, ESCs and uh, desolder the three wires unbolt it and replace it and do the same thing with the do with the new motor of course put it back in reverse so pretty straightforward there I'll show you the end result once I get it finished up and then uh, today's Wednesday the 4th I got the day off today and then Saturday and Sunday hopefully if uh, weather permits I'll get out there and and uh, test them out for endurance I did fly this this uh, six inch Martian a few days ago this last weekend and I did an endurance test with it just to kind of get a baseline to compare with I had my 1300 milliamp pack on there 
and flew it around at uh, very low throttle settings just cruising to see how long I could fly and I got about five five and a half minutes out of it at very very low throttle settings that was cruising around 13 to 17 amps I'm hoping to cut that in half with these with these motors but we'll see time time will tell and I won't really know until I actually get out there and test it but uh, they're a good looking motor hope they last a while uh, my gear tends to last me quite a while because I'm I'm pretty easy on it and I have a pretty mellow flying style I'm not a, a real ripper type flyer so anyway hope you're all doing well hope you have a good fourth and I hope you come back for more to see how these motors perform on this quad with uh, with the endurance theme in mind so take it easy well, I got the motor swap completed and here's what they look like I know the lighting is not the best but anyway they mounted on there just fine with no problems I probably the motors I took off the DYS 2205 2300s were um, 30 grams and these are claiming 26 with no wires so I might I might be saving a couple grams per motor so maybe eight grams for the whole quad but I'm not swapping it out for the for the weight savings necessarily that's just kind of a bonus mainly I'm just going for the for the efficiency so hopefully on the next few videos after this weekend I'll get some flights with these motors and let you all know how it worked out and let you know uh, what I think of them and how they're working with these six inch props so I hope you're all having a good 4th of July and uh, we'll see you on the next one.